Oh, hey, Dark Edge. Look at that. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. It is absolutely a gorgeous day outside. I'm excited to get this day started. I have two hours left of driving before I'm to Sykes in Missouri, and then I can share my kind of new plans with you guys and what we're doing, so I'm excited about it. Let's make today awesome together. What do you guys say? So anyways, I am getting in the car and I'm getting down to Sykeston right about now. And I am here, and I am standing in this absolutely huge new construction building, and this is one of the things that we are using for my new project. So this whole space here is part of the new company, and I'm very excited about it. But before I start to tell you what it's about, I want to just back up a second and tell you how this whole project started. So this journey started a few months ago when I started using the brand Herptopia Cocoa Fiber. Now, now, the company reached out to me and said, hey, we have this new bedding. I've highlighted it on the show a few times because I really was impressed with its absorbency, the lack of dust, and there was nothing really like it on the market, and I absolutely loved it. And I just started using it and promoting it because I thought it was a fantastic brand. Well, one thing led to another, and they asked if I wanted to be involved with this company, and that's how the whole thing kind of got started. All right, so let's back up for one second. So what happened to start with is we had Hertopia bedding, which was a coconut fiber, but the parent company is actually Midwest Organics. Now Midwest Organics started to produce something called Cat Spot. Cat Spot was a litter for cats, but a coconut fiber litter that was all natural that was greatly absorbent as well as odor resistant and was biodegradable. So Midwest Organics started CatSpot, which ultimately realized that they could start Herptopia. Now they have a patented process for taking the dust out and separating all the parts of the coconut fiber core, which was great because what it ended up doing was it caused a product that was much higher quality than the rest of the coconut fiber product out there. We thought this was great and that's why we got behind Herptopia. Now in the beginning, I was just trying to tell you guys that it was a great product. I had nothing to do with it. But when Midwest Organic came to and said, hey, would you like to represent this product in some signature brand. Of course, it sounded intriguing to me, but let's go ahead and let me back up one more step. For the last several years, I've been thinking about starting a product line. You know, a line of products for reptile keepers that could be helpful, because in the end, my whole thoughts in life is that the easiest amount of care that you can put into your pet reptile means there's more time for you to enjoy your pet reptile. Let's face it, the thing that is the least attractive about keeping any pet animal, including reptiles, is the work that it takes to actually keep them. Not that I mind working on reptiles, but the fact is if we could make products that make your job and your life easier for keeping a reptile, then you're gonna get more enjoyment out of it. So I've been wanting to start this product line for quite some time on my own, but you know, sometimes I just don't have the resources to do it the way I wanna do it. So when Midwest Organic said, hey, let's team up on Herptopia, and then we went to the next level and we started saying, hey, why don't we make a full line of reptile supplies? And that's when this project got started. But first I think I should take a break and just play with some goats. What do you guys think? Look at how cute they are. Come here, little goats. Come here, little goatsy goatsy. <laughs> Look at these cute little guys. Look at these cute. Hey, this guy's a friendly one. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Look at these goats. <laughs> What's going on, bud? You're friendly. You're a friendly one, aren't you? Hello. Hi. <laughs> I love it. No matter where I'm at, I always have to find animals to play with. And look at how cute these little guys are here. Oh my gosh, they're little baby goats. It's a baby goat. Hey, baby goats. <laughs> how cool. And take a look at this one. This is a little friend of mine, too. This is a Shetland pony. What's going on, bud? What's going on? What are you doing? Hello? Hello? 
<laughs> How awesome is that? I love them, man. It's so cool. It's just like a, a big horse in a little tiny body. And look at those eyes. I always think when I look at horses, I mean, the eyes are just so incredible because they're big eyes and they're just so beautiful. This guy is amazing. I'm not sure why this little Shetland pony's in with all these little goats. I guess they get along. They're goat friends, I guess. What's up, guys? You're, my, you're the friendliest one, aren't you? <laughs> this one here seems to love to get petted. What's going on? <laughs> but these little goats are so cute. Okay, again, have to always take a break uh, to get my animal time in no matter where I'm at. So this is really cool. And I love that the HQ here for this company has all kinds of really interesting animals. There's cattle up front. There's goats here, obviously the Shetland pony. There's all kinds of stuff. This is a great place. It's like I love places that are surrounded by animals, even if they are like agricultural animals. This is just freaking epic. You guys are so cute. One of the things I love about this place is that they do a lot of stuff like this where, see these horses here? Believe it or not, these are horses that were in like bad situations, not being cared for or sick or something like that. And they'll actually take them and rescue them and then nurse them back to health. You can see this guy, look at how skinny he is and uh, you know, just obviously not in a good situation. So they literally bring them back here, they get them into, you know, give them a bunch of TLC and then eventually can uh, get them back into the right situation. So it's pretty cool. I mean, I love horses and these guys are, uh, are absolutely on their way to recovery. So again, it's great to be involved in a, in a company that just loves animals as much as I do. Okay, back out here into the new building. There's already a 30,000 square foot building up front that is the Cat Spot and Herptopia building, but this building is gonna be an expansion for both of those products as well as the rest of our product line. So this is 30,000 more square foot. So altogether, we've got about 60,000 square foot to expand our business, which is pretty exciting. But you may be asking, I still don't exactly understand what you mean, Brian. So I'm gonna try to break it down a little more. Let's start with the most simple thing to tell you about. What's going to be the name of this new company? Well, it's actually going to be Reptile Prime. That's right. Our new company's name and logo, by the way, is Reptile Prime. And it's going to start by a rebrand of Herptopia into this, which is Brian Barjack's Reptile Prime premium bedding. So Herptopia is going to turn into Reptile Prime coconut bedding. In the process we also have a bunch of other products that are in development and will be slowly releasing over the next several months. Our goal is to continue to try to be as innovative as possible bringing you not only bedding but other products to help you keep your reptiles in the most efficient way. Things that maybe other companies haven't thought of or maybe we'll even take things that companies are doing and try to put a better spin on it. Basically taking the 30 years of experience that I have as well as teaming up with a bunch of other people that have decades of experience in the reptile world and all combining our energy into producing a product line that is going to make your job of keeping reptiles much easier and much more enjoyable. So how does this change the future? So how does this change the future of the things that I'm already doing? Does it affect the vlog? Does it change BHB Reptiles? Does it change my relationship with my fan? No, it doesn't really change anything. I'll continue to daily vlog. I'll continue to run BHB Reptiles. And the reason why the Reptile Zoo has been slowed down a little bit is because of this project. Because one of the things that we're talking about doing is rather than opening a smaller zoo, we're talking about this company being involved in opening a much larger reptile zoo. And that is why things have been on hold a little bit. And I'm not talking about, you know, a 300 acre zoo, but I'm talking something that is really spectacular. So that is why I've been postponing things next door is because next door is just quite frankly too small. And as 
just for the vlog, it's gonna continue on just like it always has, but the one thing that I'm going to do is continue to bring you guys on this journey. And I wanna know down below in the comments, are you excited? What do you think about this product line? What do you think about this new business venture? And do you want me to vlog about the the kind of creation of this because now that our partners have all said let's go ahead and let everyone know we want to bring you in on every product again things like developing the the first bag in the low I and mean, this is literally this design here just came out today you are seeing this design that will be on the bag for the very first time I saw it about an hour ago, so you're one hour behind. I mean, are you guys excited? Do you want me to bring you on this adventure? And as we're developing new products, or as we're launching things, or as we're doing bag designs, or as we're doing whatever exciting things are happening, including the zoo and everything else, do you guys want me to bring you in the vlog like that? Because that is the only thing that may change the vlog, is I may talk a little bit more about this business and how we can continue to expand. And when I told you yesterday that I need your help to make this successful, I do need your help. We need to make this brand, Reptile Prime, really popular so we need to provide great products that you're gonna love and by the way the other thing is every time we launch a product we're gonna ask maybe 50 or 100 people you guys to volunteer so we can send you the products for free and you guys can test them out and tell me what you think and that way if you say hey listen we like this but we'd like a little more we'll make some changes per you we want you to be involved in this process this company is as much yours as it is mine and I'm excited about it but let me know in the comments what you guys think oh and by the way this happens to be my office right here so uh, <laughs> actually have an office down here and I've already look at I've already completely customized my desk I've, I've been here for a very short time and I'm already wrecking the place but anyways this is my this is where I preside when I'm down here in Sykes in Missouri so anyways I am wrapping this up for a moment I've got a bunch of meetings that I'm gonna be in and uh, and then I'll reconvene after these meetings and we'll talk a little bit more how's that sound Oh, and by the way, before I get started with the meeting in this office, I breezed over Cat Spot really quickly. That's something now that we will be involved in. And this is Cat Spot right here. Again, it's a cocoa fiber kitty litter that's dust free and it's absolutely awesome. I've been giving this to everyone I know, including my daughter that has cats, and they absolutely love it. So I tell you, I'm gonna put a link down in the description for Cat Spot's Facebook page and Instagram page, as well as the website where you could try Cat Spot if you're a cat lover. Uh, again, I'm not going to go crazy talking to you about CatSpot right now, but we are part of this company as well, and I want to make sure you guys are completely aware of what we're doing. So, uh, CatSpot, a very cool cat litter. Okay, I'm, I'm meetings now. So the meeting was done absolutely productive. Uh, I wish I could share everything we talked about with you, but I can tell you it's pretty awesome. In the meantime, I did send a few reptiles down to these guys for the Reptile Prime offices because they love the animals and they want to start having reptiles around so they can understand them as much as I do. And one of them here is this guy, which happens to be a beautiful tramper white and yellow gecko. And uh, it's cool because they really love this little guy and I guess he chows like a, a monster. And uh, what I'm pretty excited about is this stuff right here that I'm not going to talk too much about but we all know that sand is really terrible for most reptiles as a matter of fact quite frankly it's terrible for all reptiles because they can get impacted and so like that and so we have been working on this product here that I'm not going to tell you what it is but <laughs> we're pretty excited about it it's a bedding we've been working on for the last couple months which is basically a replacement sand uh, I think I've been using it now on bearded dragons and leopard geckos for a couple months and I absolutely love it uh, we went through a whole bunch of different styles of it and we finally nailed it down I think perfectly so uh, it's pretty cool so anyways there's a lot of really fun stuff coming but uh, this is my little guy leopard gecko when I come to visit the reptile prime offices all right so we are going to try to feed another mascot here at the Reptile Prime offices and that is a beautiful banana ball python actually an entry banana and uh, it's in shed so I'm not so sure it's gonna eat but these guys assure me you know Brent here says it's going to eat it eats in shed so let's see what happens regardless it's gonna be cool you know I like to be around reptiles so here we go here's the little guy look at how beautiful he is what's his name again banjo his name is banjo banjo banana oh. Hey, duck heads. 
<laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so they were right, Banjo does eat even in shed. How awesome is that? That was a great thing. I mean, it's so cool to see snakes eat like that in shed, uh, in a feeding bin, and it's really cool because these guys are really getting their first experience with reptiles, and they really want to learn a lot about reptiles so that as we're making these products that they can really absorb themselves in our world. So uh, it's really cool to see them love this snake so much and love the gecko so much. So uh, this is this has been awesome, but uh, it's uh, it's been good. So tell me, guys, what do you guys think so far? I mean, what do you think of this idea? And are you excited about it? Are you gonna be in my corner? I really wanna know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think so far. All right, guys, so we are wrapping the day up. Uh, this is actually my home away from home. This is uh, the house that I'm basically staying in when I come down here. I'm not sure how much I'll be down here. Probably at least once a month or so I'll come down for a couple days. Maybe there might be some times where I spend you know, four or five days here. I'm not 100% sure. Regardless, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really cannot wait. As a matter of fact, the thing about this vlog is it's really even not so much even about the content for me. It's about your reactions in the comments that I'm excited about. I can't wait until I can hit the upload button so that you guys can comment and tell me what you think about this amazing story that I just told you and to see if you think that this is good, bad, or otherwise. I, I just can't wait to see. And, and I'm so excited for the next maybe six months, eight months, 10 months to continue to share this journey with you and, and hopefully be able to you know share the success of this journey so it's really exciting for me and 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 don't get me wrong i still am very excited about the animals and i'm still very excited about all the other things we're doing but this project has has been near and dear to my heart for a long time this is what i've wanted to do for really for years and and of course teaming up with these guys gave me the opportunity to do it so i couldn't be more excited and and, and to you guys i just want to let you know that you know you can follow your dreams because this was kind of a dream of mine for a long time but I didn't know if I had the ability to do it and you can see that just because I believed in something and I kept going it, it, it it's starting to happen as a matter of fact there's a saying that when preparation meets opportunity so you prepare yourself for an opportunity so that when that opportunity comes you can embrace it and you can move forward with it so uh, that's what happened with this one and I'm super excited and the guys that we're working with here at Midwest Organics and Cat Spot are just amazing I mean they're such great people and they're so passionate about providing great quality products and and a great service so uh, there you go guys I hope you guys love this and uh, I hope that you have an amazing Amazing day thank you so much for joining me make sure to smash that like button and hit that notification bell for me and remember to be kind to somebody I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow